this week's feast. Kevin McAllister's Hotel Sunday from Home Alone 2. What's up, everybody? Hi. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. That's right. And almost a happy new year. Yes, it is so close. We are so close to 2020. I can feel it. I can feel it, too. And we've had this request a bunch in the comments. In Home Alone 2, Kevin McAllister, he's at it again. Macaulay Culkin decides to destroy room service and order himself a massive personalized sundae. This week, we're going to show you how to make some cool components of one. Yep. And how to make one for yourself, too. And we're going to make a big one for each other. Yes, for, for ourselves. Us. It's our own gift to ourselves at the end of a long year. Yes. Jimmy Wong wants to give himself more ice cream, can't wait. Yeah, so yeah. let's do it. Let's kick off Kevin McAllister's legendary hotel ice cream sundae by making two custom toppings that will make this all the more delicious. First up, a berry chocolate sauce. Begin by placing your berries in a saucepan on medium high heat and stir, mash, and cook until the mixture reaches a boil and the liquid oozes out of your berries. Use whatever berry combination you want. Take the mixture off the heat and scoop the mashed mixture in a mesh strainer and press the berries down with a spoon or spatula to extract just the syrup. Syrup. Once that's done, clear the strainer and return the syrup to the saucepan. Add in your sugar, mixing well until it's fully dissolved, and then your cocoa powder, stirring until that's dissolved, in a cornstarch and water slurry to thicken the mixture, vanilla extract, and bring it all to a boil and simmer while constantly whisking. Gradually pour in your milk bit by bit and whisking aggressively until it's completely dissolved and worked into the chocolate. When that's all done, add in your butter and same thing, stir, stir, stir. Remove this from the heat if you're ready to use it, otherwise keep it on the stove on a low temperature until you're ready to go. It's best served hot and oozing, so make sure that it is nice and warm before you use it. Next up, we're making caramel sauce. And this one was a new recipe for me, but it's surprisingly simple. Pour in your sugar into a saucepan without anything else and just begin stirring. After a while, you'll notice that the sugar begins to clump up and turn a shade of yellow. Keep going, scooping the residue off the sides and into the middle, and eventually it'll all turn into a thick brown and amber colored liquid. Once all of the sugar chunks have melted, add in your butter and stir quickly. From this point out, every ingredient we add will bubble up the pot immediately, so just keep stirring and whisking so nothing gets stuck on the bottom and burns. After the butter has completely melted, pour in heavy cream and keep whisking constantly. The mixture will bubble up and froth, but just keep stirring until all of the heavy cream has been added. Looks amazing. Remove it from the heat, add in your salt and stir it in. Allow this to slightly cool before using, but just like the chocolate sauce, you'll still want to have it warm in the pot until you're ready to use it. As always, these episodes are brought to you by our wonderful patrons at patreon.com slash fiction. So today's episode is brought to you by... Who's that patron? It's Tom Tran! Tom Tran! Alright, Ash, you ready to assemble? So ready. Whoop! Well, whoop! We uh, didn't make ice cream, so we just chose the next best thing, which is a giant tub of Neapolitan ice cream. Oh my gosh, Neapolitan is the best! Yeah, you get all the best flavors all in one. Heck yeah. So, it's funny, I was looking this up online, and they're like, Kevin's 10, scree 10 scoop sundae, T Kevin's 12 scoop sundae. How many scoops? I don't actually know, because you never really see him scooping it on camera. But what is really interesting is that when, uh, if you go to the Plaza Hotel in New York, they have a Home Alone 2 package. You can add to your reservation, and they will give you a, uh, you'll get a sundae, and it okay. says a 10 scoop sundae on the website, um, okay. just like Kevin gets in the movie. And then they also give you like a Home Alone backpack and stuff too, it's actually really cute. Uh, I'm gonna bada do this. Bing. Bada, bada bing, bada boom. This is 10 scoops, baby. <laughs> wow, I feel like Kevin McAllister right now. You do. I've never had a sundae with 10 scoops, but. Uh, I don't think any of us are finishing it, to be honest, but you know what, you it know doesn't what? matter. Gluttony in the name of Home Alone, baby. That's right. We are the gluttony bandits. Oh, oh my god! god! That was actually incredible. All right, I'm not okay, gonna do 10 are. scoops, but I'm gonna do enough. Okay. All right. Let's clear this mess out. Okay. All right. We have our ice cream. Now let's prepare it's the final pots. Yummy. Mm mm mm. Okay. So I am a big fan of the caramel. Yes. I love caramel. And while you're hitting the caramel, I will do the berry chocolate sauce. Nice. Ooh, pretty. Oh, no. Berry chocolate. You know the beauty of making your own sundae is that you get to do whatever you want. This is yep. your treat. And finally top it off with a cherry. Boink. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. Boom! Woo! Yeah! Wow! Our 
our boats. Well, my boat's not as impressive as yours because I only have about six scoops. But you went for the full shebang. Ooh. The point of this feast dash is what? One, cheers. Just. Two, treat yourself. Yeah, you it's the end of the year. It's the end of the year. You're in the hotel. You're stuck watching movies you shouldn't watch. Right? Mm -hmm. Drizzling caramel on the delicious assortment of ice cream, and you're just enjoying your time off. I sure am enjoying this time with you here, Winnie, because right. this is delicious. I will say, this chocolate sauce is delicious. I love mm. this. A slight hint of berry. Yes. It's a really good way to mix up your sundae, you know? Mm -hmm. Obviously, we didn't make the ice cream from scratch. We didn't make <laughs> the other components of the sundae, but it's really neat to put a really creative touch on a sundae. You could really make any flavor you want. If you don't yeah. like berries, you don't have to put you know, berries in your chocolate sauce. You can make a salted chocolate, you Ooh. could, you know. We did the uh, Stranger Things Sunday, and that one was mm -hmm. more specific to what they did in the show. We but did the Gooberberry, mm, triple, triple Gooberberry Sunrise. Well, I'm gonna put this down before my stomach explodes. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah, and also, I don't think any of us actually recommend eating a 12 scoop ice cream sundae. No. Probably not. You, well, if you about, can, more power to you. And think about it this way. You never actually see Kevin McAllister finish it on screen, right? Because he probably stopped eating it when he was like halfway done. He's like, okay. I don't know though. Let's face it. As kids, <laughs> we probably could kill this. Yeah, right? Like and, if I was Kevin McAllister's age back in my day of Kevin McAllister's age, yeah. I could totally kill you would be bouncing suit. off the walls. I know, if but if I had the option, dude, I totally would order one in a hotel room and I totally would eat it all. I so. know. That's true. Well, I remember getting a, the first time I got like room service, I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. I can't believe someone's bringing food to me in my room. Whoa, I felt yeah. like such a king. It is, living like kings. And you definitely feel that too when Kevin obviously goes into the hotel in Home Alone. It's it's great. What a great scene. He has scene. like the whole king size bed to himself. Yeah, and that. the guy's just sitting there like, what is this child doing? But I guess I have to do my job. Mm -hmm. And he's watching movies he shouldn't be watching. You filthy animal. I know, that is always going to be a timeless Christmas classic, really, right? Yeah, it's an amazing, amazing movie. It really is. Number one and number two are so good. And we really appreciate you guys recommending this recipe. I know, it's not a hard one to do, but we thought this would be a good one for Christmas. And you know what? Treat yourself. Yeah. You learn how to make two cool sauces mm -hmm. and that you relearn the fact that, again, I, I'm really bad at eating ice cream. Yeah. We will <laughs> never forget that Jimmy is lactose intolerant. No. So... I certainly won't forget either. Well, from Ashley and me to you, we hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas and yep. a Happy Holiday and uh, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy New Year, all of those holidays. All lined up. It's yep. the time. It's my favorite time of year. Yeah, we're so thankful for you guys. We're thankful for each other. Absolutely. This has been an amazing year, and next year will be even better. So thank you guys, as always, for going along on the journey with us. It means so much. Yes. And oh my gosh, next year, big things happening. We have a cookbook coming out in April. You can pre-order it right now as an early Christmas yep. present. And he's on the big screen. I'm on the big screen. Woo! Our yes. Hollywood hero, hometown Hollywood hero, right yeah. here in the building with us. Come yeah. 2020, baby. I'm a little nervous, but I can't wait. Mulan's in theaters on March 27th. It would be a great gift to me and to Ashley if you guys pre-ordered the cookbook. Yes. If you get the, if you got the word out, if you go see Mulan, all of that good stuff. Yeah. And Feast of Fiction, of course, will continue in 2020. We have a lot more stuff planned and cool things planned as well. If you want to be a part of that action, go on over to patreon.com slash fiction. Join the Patreon, talk to us on Discord, chat with us, have a direct line of communication to Ashley and myself. You can request recipes, you can tell us exactly what you want, and of course, we want to honor our patrons first because you are making this show possible. Yep, we also moved into a beautiful new set this year, hey. so we are starting the new year off right. 2020 is going down with a bang, and we are so excited to see you guys there next Sounds year. Like we're gonna beat the crap out of 20. We're gonna take 2020 down. No Ooh, mercy. No mercy. Boom. Dude, we're ruthless. 2020 is like, oh. It's anyway, Christmas. be safe. You filthy animals. You filthy animals. What is the thing that he says? Like the whole movie dialogue uh, where he's like, get your lonely, no good keister off my property That's before I pump is. your oh guts God. full of lead. One, two, I'm gonna give you to the count of 10 to get your ugly, yellow, no good keister off my property before I pump your guts full of lead. All right, Johnny, I'm sorry. I'm going. One, two, ten.
<laughs> Keep the change, you filthy animal. Well, be nice this holiday season. Have a wonderful, safe time out yep. there. And we'll see you in 2020. Yay. Well, actually, we'll see you next week, but we'll see you after that, too. Yeah, we will. So, <laughs> bye. Goodbye. Thank you.